Hello everyone, this is uh, Ronnie M. I'm sorry my face isn't showing. Um, I'm not really good at this filming stuff, but I wanted to uh, show you some of my plants here. If you've seen some of my plant videos, you know that I like growing lilies and just a variety of plants, roses, lilacs, um, and all from scratch. Um, I'm not an expert, okay? Um, but I just wanted to show you some of my lemon plants that I grew from seed. And you could do it easy too. You just take a lemon. If you want to grow it by, you can buy a lemon tree if you want. Or if you want to do it by scratch, you save your lemon after you use it. You take the seeds. Uh, I started with seven seeds and only three survived. So do a lot. Uh, do at least six or seven seeds. And you take the membrane. It's a pain in the butt. You take the membrane off the seed. You put, you could put like two in a piece of paper towel, fold it up wet it good put it in a plastic bag do two seeds per paper towel put it in a dark place you know i had put mine in the dryer <laughs> didn't use the dryer don't worry um and then after like a week or two it depends on the seed it'll germinate it'll start sprouting these little seeds i mean seeds uh little tiny roots will start coming out and then when you get a bit of a root you can put them in you know the soil, put it like that much from the top, you know, and then it takes time. Let me tell you, you know, mine are already two years old. I would say this will be their second uh, summer. And it's funny too, out of the seven I, I did, only three survived and you see the leaves on this one. And then look at the size of the leaves on this one. And it's they're high, it's like really high. It's, I have to take them outside and I have to clean this one too. And uh, this one is like three feet high, maybe yeah, I would say a good three going on four. You can't see it. It's like all the way up there. I have it tied up and I have to put it to the trellis. And the smaller one, a little runt one, is like this big. I say a foot high, but is doing good. But it's really weird. And it's, it's funny when you take the leaves and if you rub them, and you could smell the lemon. Uh, I haven't produced lemons yet. Um, and they're happy. They're growing. But the reason why I'm doing this video, and I don't want to run out of time on my camera, um, is because uh, I'm cleaning them. And I want to show you that if you do this, uh, this might happen to you. And I guess they come from the soil. They don't hurt humans. They won't hurt your other plants. This is a money tree that I just let grow crazy. And I've cut it down several times. And I've got many, many grandchildren from this one. Because I do clip and then root. You know, I have so many. I mean, good gravy. i got like... This is like a greenhouse in this room. <laughs> um, but uh, so my avocado tree that I grew uh, from scratch. And I grew my avocado tree not by, you know how you put the, it in the water with the toothpicks? No. I found this guy online who did it both ways from Australia. And I just took the seed, put it in the dirt. Like that much from the top of the, of the, top of the pot. And son of, a, son of a bee, it's like over two feet tall now. So I was like, all these years I was trying to do it in the water like a friggin' potato, and it didn't work. So anyway, let me get back to this. One day I noticed that my leaves were shiny, and they were sticky, like they had maple syrup on it. I was like, what's going on here? So I looked it up. It turned out I got the mealy bugs, or scaly bugs. And I think I could show you, and I'm washing them. Oh, here, here we go. I don't know if you could see that. They're like these, I'm sorry, love, that I'm doing this to you. They're like these little dots, okay? You would think they were part of the leaves because they blend in with the leaves. They look like little brown dots. Oh, I just got sun dots, you know, on my plant. No. These little suckers, I mean, they'll even attach to the stems. For some reason, they don't really bother this plant that much, this one. They don't bother the money tree. But I, I go, yeah, because this is not, uh, you know, the sap just falls on it. Um, they really love this plant, this lemon tree, more than they love this one. But I do clean this one, too. The other one, our little guy, is not affected at all. So every once in a while, I get my bowl of warm water with a couple drops of dish soap in it. You know, you can always, you can use neem oil, too. I got this one from Walmart online. You can get it anywhere, wherever you like shopping from. It's not expensive. It's under $20, like $15, $12, depending on who you buy it from. It's a crapshoot with this. It works. It doesn't work. It's a crapshoot. I think it more annoys them than it kills them. Okay. So anyway, and then again, they don't bother humans. They don't crawl in your bed or some shit like that. So 
I just take this and every once in a while I change the paper towel. As you can see, it's on this paper towel, they're dead. So where's the one that I showed you? Oh yeah, this one. I take the warm water, go gently, do not rip your leaf. And I take it and you just get them off. Look at that, squash their little brains. You know, they're like flat little pancakes. And every once in a while I have to do this. And you make sure, sometimes they don't want to let go, but you can get them off, you know. And I learned this from a planter, um, from a website, not on YouTube. Um, uh, oh, yeah, look at this. Hello, sunshine. Little bastards. You know, because I couldn't understand. I was like, I had no idea, because this is my first time, you know, growing uh, lemon trees, you know. And I had no idea what the hell was going on. I was like, why do they look like they got maple syrup? They're so sticky. It was like crazy. And then that's when I said, I just looked it up. I didn't see the bugs at first, because I didn't know. I just looked it up. And don't worry, the soapy water won't hurt your lemon tree. If anything, your lemon tree is going to love you for it because you're getting these damn things off of it. You know? Just a couple of drops. Just a couple of drops. Come on, you little dirty bastard. There you are. You know? Just a couple of drops. And gently just get them off. And always look under the carriage. Clean your stems, too. Oh, I see you. You know, because they will hang out on the stems. You know. And just clean your stems. Because they're on your stems, too. They love to hide. They're like, oh, crap, here comes that woman going to come clean us again. You know, we got to run, guys. I see you. Just squash your little brain off. You know, like I said, the neem oil helps. Look at that. Is that horrible? The neem oil helps, but basically, it again, it's a crapshoot. I think it more annoys them. It doesn't kill them. Because even after I sprayed it, those sons of a bitches come back again. You know, they just keep coming back. And I think they were in the soil. And I try to use, you know, I save up money and I try to use them. Uh, to get the miracle grow or some good uh, it doesn't even have it, it could be ergo there's another one i think called ergo soil as long as it's got good manure in it i like a good stinky soil <laughs> i want that good stinky stuff you know because then i know I'm, i got some good you know i got some good stinky soil and i also make my own soil outside i, I mush it up you know try to save money because you know i do do a lot of rescuing uh, uh I, all our cats and any dog or whatever has been rescued from the street. Yeah, you know, I found cat kittens on the street as babies or a mother pregnant or a cat that was just thrown out. And we befriend them and I save my money. We save our money, go take out to our vet. And he's a damn good vet, you know, and I save money because the first thing we do is we do the blood test, make sure there's no leukemia or feline AIDS or, or distemper or whatever, you know, and then we get the shots, you know, and... You know, and we get them a ton of toys, and, I, and we wind up keeping them because <laughs> I get the heart to let them go. And we love every single one of them, we love them. And if, anyway, I see a cat, and I get really bad anxiety and, and, and other shit. But whenever I see a cat on the street, I just go into panic mode. I'm like, oh, please, 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 please make it across the street, please, Lord. You know, cheese and crackers, you know, there goes my day. But uh, anyway, going back on the plants. That's another one of my favorite things is the plants. Just wanted to let you know that if you ever if you're growing any kind of citrus plant uh, from scratch or you buy one, doesn't matter. You want to buy one, buy one. That's good too, you know. But this sap gets everywhere. It's like all over my friggin' Venetian blinds. And like I said, I just wanted to share with you what I found out, as I'm sure most of you do. I'm you know don't want to insult anybody's intelligence. You know I'm a novice, even though I've been growing plants for years i still consider myself a novice because i learn every time i learn something new uh i grow uh, uh, quite a few lilies 
your basic yellow, and I grow starlight lilies, you know, those really expensive ones, you know, and I don't understand why they're so expensive, except, Pete, let me tell you something about starlight lilies, and I grow them in the backyard, uh, I grow the orange and the standard purple, they bloom once and that's it, I think that's why they're so expensive, it's, it's, it's like tulips, they bloom once and then phew, that's it, you you know, that's it, you get a one shot deal with them suckers, but I love them. I have, I love my lilies, I do. The yellow ones are so beautiful too. And I have, like I said, a lilac uh, bush, gigantic. I give them, I put them in the hallway, I give them to my tenants, um, you know. Uh, and, oh, I have many different roses. And this year I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back uh, to doing miniature roses again. I feel, I feel in the mood to do miniature roses this year. I used to grow them years ago. I think I'm gonna go back to doing that. And, of course, I'm going to put these guys out there. I have to put the trellis out there for them because otherwise they'll just droop over. They need something to hold them up straight. These two are like good gravy. I don't even want to tell you how tall they are. They're, they're going to the top of my window. Um, I, have them, I have them tied up, you know. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And you have, like I said, the neem oil. You know, I usually spray that after I wash them. I try to get as many as the bugs as I can. It'll be easier once I put these outside because then I could hose it and I could, in the sunlight, you know, wash them gently. Any sticky leaves that you see and don't forget the stems to wash them too. And it won't hurt them. If anything, your plant will like you for it, love you for it, uh, because now it's like, oh, you're distressing it from these stupid bugs. And like I said, uh, in between them is the money tree. They like it. Uh, you know your plant is happy where you put it if it's flourishing. And then if you take your plant and you move it somewhere else and you're like, oh, my goodness, this thing ain't doing so well. What happened? Put it back where it was because it was happy there. Okay, same thing like when you're going to repot something. You're going to repot it. If it's overrooted, don't forget to cut those roots on the bottom so you aerate it. And be gentle. Be gentle. And I do talk to my plants. I don't care if people think I'm crazy in the head. I talk to them and I give them, I say, I love you. And I give them a kissy. <laughs> and they love it. They seem to be flourishing. Let me tell you. You know, I have, I got to take a picture of my cactus again. I, I know that I have, I think, a video of the cactus somewhere in my, in my, uh, in my home movies. But that son of a bee is getting bigger and bigger. I'm going to have to replant it a third time. It's going to be, I think it has to be like three feet tall. I'm looking at it from where I am. I would say, oh, if you're wondering what my t-shirt says, it says, please don't ask me to do stuff. Um, I'd say, yeah, it has to be three, I would say three feet tall going over because now it's higher than that bookshelf. You know, and they're all in the sun. And I've got so many grandchildren from this one and so many grandchildren from a bonsai that I let overgrow. Yes, I did. I did. Okay. But I've got so many grandchildren from it. And I've got some more that I am rooting, you know, putting it in the water and rooting. And that's another thing. A lot of plants, like a money tree and other pl plants, you don't need soil. Okay. Let me show you something real quick. Let me go get it. I used an old glass teapot, but also, you know how you get these fish bowls from the Dollar Tree? Um, I used to, I have to clean that. Um, I used to make candle holders out of this, because I like to, I'm going to start a DIY thing. Uh, my thing is I love making clocks. Um, oh, good gravy. And I make clocks out of recyclable material. Um, that being said, I had a bunch of these bowls from the Dollar Tree. And what I did was I painted the bottom. I didn't paint inside. So I painted inside, but the bottom is white because you need a base coat. And then I had these little wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree, and I painted the bottom metallic. Because you can't just paint uh, the metallic paint on the glass. You have to have a base coat, hence the white. But the white is on the outside, not the inside. And I put these little things, and now I've got myself, and you could put a succulent in here. I've also done them on stands. I'll, sh I'll show you a quick picture of that. And I put some colored stones on the bottom. With, you know, after I've rooted the plant, whether it's this one or another one, and then I fill it up with water to here, and that's it. You don't need soil if you don't want to do soil. And I made like a bunch of these, 
you know, I was thinking about selling them, but then I said, no, you know what? I've got so many that I'm moving. And, you, you know, I got to stop because I'm running out of room in here. But let me show you what, you can put like a succulent in here, but I'll show you, you know. Good gravy, before I run out of camera time. This was another one that I did out of the Dollar Tree, you know, this the candlestick, and there's that bowl again. And I painted it, and I put the little ribbon, and I have a succulent. I put sand. There is sand and rocks, and this way it gets sun on the top, you know, and paint it any color you want. I don't know if I'm getting a good angle on it, you know, but that one I did. And you don't have to paint this if you don't want to. You could leave it the way it is. I just did it for this one, you know, and then it could just sit there on the windowsill like that sake sorry like that and the sun goes right on it and you just give a spritz you know so there you go i just threw that in but yeah basically we're supposed to be just talking about these stupid little scaly mealy bugs you can look them up online you could see there's different varieties of them i happen to have the brown flat ones i didn't know what they were but now you know if you have a citrus plant and you see sticky maple syrup looking leaves You've got those scaly or mealy bugs. Wash the leaves first. Your plant will love you for it. Gently, but firmly. You know, it's like changing the diaper. Gently, but firmly. <laughs> okay? And you can get the neem oil if you want. Like I said, you know, I got mine from Walmart because I felt they had a good price. And they, I got it like that. That's one thing I've never had a problem with. Well, well with uh, Amazon, I've never had a problem with. But I, I'm not, I don't have Amazon Prime. I'm not that freaking rich. I'm not even rich. What am I saying? Uh, but the, uh, it's one thing with Walmart. I've never had a problem with shipping. And if I had a problem with my order, they gave me my money back. And they said, keep the product. They're really damn good with that stuff. So, um, yeah. But that's it. And that's all I wanted to share with you. I'm going to get back to cleaning these guys. And I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me jibber on, okay? And my plants say goodbye too, you know, okay? And I thank you again. Thank you, thank you. And have a, have a fantastic planty day.